Chin on Sawa Street, Egbe, Liasu Road. I attend the uh, Egbe 2 branch. I joined to, I thank God for making me to be a chosen today. Thank you, Father. I, for making me to know the right way today, I'm thanking God. That King of King, Lord of Lord, I glorify your name. I give you honor. Oba Wamba, Kabi O Sia Rujaja, Lessi Oku, Erujaja, Obato Jobalo, Obato Lepa, Toleji, Nibatani Coco Lepa, Ah, or Kabi O Simogu or Gamu in four Rukore, or Long Roba choosing Oma Sheo, Nitori Poshe Warati, Yanuni Nayemi, Ah, O Sheo, Kabi O Si, Erujaja, Abato Lost, Corri Cosse, Ari Rara. Arubu ojo agbagba ma da gba oye ka bi o si olorun to ju olorun olorun to ju gbogbo aye lo kini won eya juda o se o hey please choose him praise the lord hallelujah please tell us, tell us your name again tell us sister abimbola saka okay sister abimbola saka go ahead now with your testimony I have two testimonies to give my brethren. The first one is, I was afflicted with arrow since September ending, that I couldn't lift my hand. I've gone to series of uh, to hospital, private hospital and general hospital at Igodo. I did series of tests. Even though they asked me to do scan, whether it's, I, I, I fall down, they said nothing. But to cut the story short, later people start telling me that it was an arrow. I started taking different kinds of occasion of uh, arrow drugs, different hearts, ogogoro, different types of uh, drugs that have been taken. The, my case still be like that. That I couldn't lift my hand up. I was, this is how I used to work. Hmm. That people will be saying, ah, what happened? This one will say, ah, this thing will kill you. This thing will kill you. I said, it will not kill me. But I know that when I have seen, because my case is that we are eight in my family. My mother gave eight children. We, the three remain out of five have died. When it's not happened, I will be hearing the voice say, it is your own time. It is your own time. But I know, even though myself, I know that this is how other my auntie, they die one by one. Mm. I was afraid. I said, well, so on last month, I joined choosing last month, December 28th, November 28th. <laughs> Wait a minute. When you say last month, November, this, November 28th. This last November. 2021. 2021. Just less than one month, if you can say, you joined choosing. Let's hear your testimony proper now. Go ahead. So that day, that was November 26th. The, before that day, of course, somebody, I went to different churches. Different pastors. My husband went to Afar. Many places. The, what they are just telling me that is death. That this is casket in my front. That this is casket in my front. I said no. Although almost three of my aunties they died in my mommy's house there. So in our God, I said, well, let me go, go to my mommy's place. If it is where I'm going to, that, that is where my auntie had died. Let me go there. So I now went there. For, before I went there, they called somebody to come and bring the thing out from my hand. They said in my place on those states, they used to call arrow out from somebody's body. The person now came. He, he built me a, a huge of money, 50,000. I said, I'm going to pay. He bring nail from my neck, teeth from my hand, and this uh, palm kernel from my back. I, they, they, they see it. I see few pains again. But the person have told me that it's only God can save me. That, but what he's seen is casket in my front. I said, okay. So that Friday, I went to my mommy's house. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't walk. So on getting there, one of my mommy's tenants attend choosing. Immediately he entered the house. He said, ah, they used to call me big mommy. He said, big mommy, what happened? That why didn't I send for him? I said, Baba, look at me. Oh, this is death. Oh. He said, ah, no, you are not going to die. Immediately he called the branch pastor. <laughs> he called the pastor. Not quite long. The pastor and the brother, they came in. And I've not been sleeping for past two months. That would just stay like that with tears in my face. You, you have not been doing what? Sleeping. Sleeping. Okay. So immediately the pastor came. They entered my mommy room. They prayed for me. As they prayed for me, the uh, brother said, 
hope not that you quarrel with anybody or you lay courses or something. I said, no. He said, God will deliver you. God of choosing will deliver you. I said, oh, amen. Mm. That night, I slept till 3.30 a.m. Power! Automatic answer. God of choosing answers prayer. Not knowing that my husband too have known that I'm going to die. That is why he sent me away to my mommy's house. Mm. That I should not die in his house. So on getting there, that Saturday, he called my, my sisters, my auntie children that have late. He wanted to confirm maybe I'm still alive. He called them. They said they should give me a phone. Those ones said, I'm sleeping that morning. So my, that, my neighbor said, will I manage to go on Sunday? I said, yes. That Sunday, I met them in their branch church. I, we came together with pains. I sit down in front of here. People that saw me that day, I was crying. I couldn't stand up. But as I prayed that my daddy pray and measured my case, immediately I stood up. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What don't you say? Power! Even though that Sunday, that was Sunday 28th of November. That Sunday, I don't know what bring me out. I was rolling on the floor here. So, after they said, somebody with affliction with arrow, that the arrow has go back to the sender. Hmm. So they said they should come out for testimony. I came out, I said testimony here that day. On getting home again, the word came to me that, do you think you are free? That you think you are going to where he's going to save you? I said, yes, I know that God of choosing will save me. That immediately I enter here, my voice that came out said, you, are, you will not die the way your sister died. Hmm. So hmm. that Sunday, when it was on Wednesday again, my neck cannot be moved. My neck stands that's supposed to come on Thursday. My husband said, will you go out with these pains like this? I said, I will go. That Baba was waiting for me in the Lewe bus stop. He, she called me, called me, called me. But because of I cannot walk, but I forced myself and manage and go to Baba. We came together that Thursday. That Thursday also, immediately my daddy, my daddy was praying again. He said, he saw somebody that they have tied somewhere, that he lose the person now. Immediately, I free free again. I saw the work of God in my body. So that night, and I slept. As I said, I saw that they tie me on a stick inside the bush. Immediately, I saw somebody losing me. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! According to the statement of the pastor, power! That Friday again, I got free. I started walking, moving my body. Everybody was in the street, was someone surprised because even though doing that something, I collapsed. That before they could wake me up, that before that I came here. But, but to, short the, to cut the story short because of time. So when I start coming, continue. I start calling the members. They will tell me, please, sister, continue. But I will say, my husband will say, ah, you want to go to choosing? I said, this is my right way. Hmm. That I'm going to choosing. Nothing will depart me from this place. That I've seen the right way. That as my mother have known this right way, I know that this situation will not happen to her. Hmm. Now I will be the savior of my family that I will not die the way my sister died, that others of my sister, my children, nobody's going to die again. Mm. Death have ended in my home. Mm. I continue, I start coming. Last week, somebody that directed me, not only the day to the beer that I'm going to die, the man now called me, he's an apostle in my mommy's compound there. He now said, ah, he thanked God for me, that the, way I, the God that I went to, that I continue with that God. That was on Tuesday. I said, apostle, what happened? He said, because what he himself was seeing in my front was death. That he thanked God for my life, that I should continue, that I should not depart from that God. I said, it is God of choosing. That answer, immediately I start singing. He answered prayer, he answered prayer, he answered prayer. He answered prayer, he answered prayer, he answered prayer. He answered prayer, he answered prayer. God of choosing answered prayer. So my children, my uh, cousins, my auntie children that was in school also said he saw the death that we were doing burial. So those one cannot tell me, but all of them were just seen burial, casket, casket. I said, what happened? So the second testimony is like this. Last year also with stomach you, problem. You are going to second testimony now. Yes. Do you know that this is your testimony requires a generational celebration? <laughs> We cannot let it go like that. We need to clap in a special way to God of Chosen. Appreciate this great God. Magnify the God of the Chosen. The God of the moment. The real equipment. The God of the universe. 
who has elected the Lord Jesus in charismatic revival movement as the mountain of the house of the Lord on top of mountain. Now my pastor said, when you cross over to choose him, we will cross you over. Yes. Hey, God of choosing is so great. Yes, great. God of choosing is so great. Great, great. I don't know how you are feeling, but I'm seeing God of choosing fresh in power. Yes, so. He said everywhere they said death, they were seeing casket, relations dreaming, death. Husband said, go to your mother's place and die. All hopes gone. Prophets, native doctors, dead. And she said, I, don't, I hope you heard her, that five of her siblings have died the same way. Am I right, my sister? Did you say five? Five, five of five them. Five of your we siblings. Are, we are eight in number. We, we remain three. Five have gone the same way that the arrow came again. And you heard her. He said, Pastor Nam prophesied and said, Somebody is tied somewhere. I lose you. Immediately, she saw herself tied. And be they began to lose her. And that was how death was averted. Serious and real death. It's you because know. of time. Timbani King, Kare Oluwa, Ile Ashu, Ile Amo, Lori Ayemi, Ile Ashu, Ile Amo. If I said I should continue saying it, <laughs> It's because of time. My second testimony is... So like you this. are walking freely now. Can you walk on that podium? Anywhere, Daddy. Clap onto this great God. Clap onto this great God. This is the God of the universe. The God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. My te second testimony is like this. Last year also again, I was sick like this again. That I went to a hospital again. They directed me to a God. Later they said... My intestine has melt joined together. Then I have anemia again. That I'm going to do operation. So I went. The doctor now said that I will do it because of the COVID. I should come to his place and do it. He billed me four hundred thousand. But because of the situation of what is happening, I said I don't have money now. But I continue praying. But I know that they want to use that way again for me again. I continue praying. I continue praying. But since that last year. I have not done the operation because I'm contributing money to do the operation. As I'm contributing, my daughter gain admission. I said, will I do the operation or my daughter should go for school? I used out of the money for my daughter admission. She went to school. So, but I go with pain, different drug again, with that my stomach. But to cut the story short, since that last year, I've been bedwetting. That even though if I go to any place, I won't be able to sleep because if I sleep off or say let me sleep, before I will look, everywhere ground were full of urine. So I continue praying. I continue praying. But last week, that as I came again to church, Daddy just said somebody with operation last Sunday that I came because I continue since that 28, I've not stopped coming to church. Hmm. Even though the branch Tuesday I attend. Every week, Thursday, I come here. Sunday, again, I come here. The Sunday service, I go to the branch and worship there. I continue. The old member, they are happy with me. So, last Sunday, as we are praying here again, I make sure I say, God, before I will do my testimony out here, that the second problem I'm having is that urine, bedwetting, that God, I want you to take total deliverance of me, hmm. that will make me to come and stand in your presence. So, last Thursday that I came here, as they were showing us the bed that God arrested, killed them here. I said, God, as you kill those beds, all the problem in my life and the enemy in my family, God, let them die like that. Hmm. Let me not face any problem. That Thursday as I slept, I did not bed rest on my bed. Power! Hey! God don't choose an answers. Prayer. So I called my husband. I said, sure you are seeing the work. If I said, he said, he now asked me, is it, is it choosing you want to go? I said, yes. Is it choosing? I said, I said okay, if it is choosing, because it agreed for me not to come here. He did not allow me to come here, but I started begging him that, you know the problem I'm facing in my family. Who did not allow you to come? That, please, let me continue. Don't let me, my husband. Okay. I begged him. It's not him, but it was his friend that was pushing him. So later I begged him, I said, please, if you don't want me to die like my sister, let me go to the right way. Hmm. 
that this is my way. Let me go there and worship there. So he said, okay, if it is what you want, I leave you alone. So, so, so see, that Thursday, see this moment, I've not been bedwetting. Hmm. On Sunday, there's something I've been stopping, stopping, stopping like that since on Sunday. So hmm. I thank God for my daddy. Thank you, that Father. God that has chosen him, making him for us. Many people have not known this right way. Hmm. I pray they should also know this place also. That God that made me to be among of the living soul today hmm. will also deliver everybody like that. Thank you, Father. Clap on to this great so I pray for my daddy, heaven at last. All the choosing member, heaven at last, and me also myself, heaven at last. I want to ask you before you go. This your testimony is so great, and you made a very important statement. You say, had you known this place, your mother and your siblings would not have died the way they did. I think you made a statement like that. Yes, sir. And you now say because of you, your family is liberated. You are now a choosing. Yes, sir. Now, what shall we do to spread this news about the Lord choosing to people everywhere? People are suffering and dying. Can you listen to our testimony? Say, Babalawos, churches, all of them gave up and said, death, caskets. But only in coming to this place, the pastor was choosing prophesied and gave solution. He didn't just sit there and say, uh, okay, go. He said, you are tired, I lose you. And those impossibilities disappear. Yes, so. What shall we do as a people to spread this news, this good news, that God has deposited for all mankind, for all nations, for all tribes, to be saved, to be delivered. We must wake up. We must rise to the occasion. We must spread the news. If that sister did not hear what happened and say, come to choose it. The case would have been closed today. We need to do our bit and make human beings to know that God has appointed this place for the deliverance of the entire world. Challenge yourself. Be an instrument and God will be to know that God has appointed this place for the deliverance of the entire world. Challenge yourself. Be an instrument and God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate the clap unto the God of the children. Next testifier. 